How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. So I got another string review for you guys today and I'm reviewing a Technifiber string. And as you guys know, Technifiber is well known for their very soft and arm friendly multifilaments such as X1 Biphase and NRG Squared. But today we're talking about a Technifiber Poly and we're talking about the Technifiber Ice Code. Let's check it out. So what category of polyester does the Technifiber Ice Code fall into? It's kind of difficult to say because it's supposed to be a softer playing poly, but at the same time, it's supposed to have good tension maintenance and good durability and control, which usually don't coincide with one another. If it's soft and comfortable, usually you have to sacrifice uh, control or tension maintenance. But this Technifiber Ice Code promises to get the best of both worlds. According to the back of the package, it says the most powerful poly, 6% more powerful versus the Technifiber Poly average. So some other Technifiber polys you might know are Red Code and Pro Red Code Wax, also Black Code and 4S, which is what used to be Technifiber Black Code 4S, is just now called 4S. Those are all pretty stiff and so they have good durability, good tension, maintenance, good control, not too much power. This ice code string is supposed to kind of bridge the gap and become be a little bit more powerful, a little bit softer, but at the same time not sacrifice what makes the uh, Technofiber polys great, which is its incredible control and especially ten uh, tension maintenance. Technofiber polys use something called thermal core technology, which means during the manufacturing process of their polys, Technofiber actually heats the core of the string and by heating it, it actually kind of softens the material inside so it makes it a little bit more arm friendly but at the same time it, it uh, mitigates the tension loss factor which plagues a lot of soft polyesters. So I strung up the Technofiber Ice Code in my head Graphene 360 Speed MP. This is the 16x19 version, it's more powerful so I strung it a little higher than I usually do. I strung it at 54 in the mains and 52 in the crosses and I've played with this quite a bit. This is actually my third set that I'm on and it's gotten very popular reviews, uh, good reviews for its tension maintenance, its soft arm friendly and powerful response, uh, good control. Uh, Tennis Warehouse raved about it so I was really excited when this string first came out and I was excited to try it and I'm just gonna get this out of the way. I'm not personally a big fan of this string unfortunately and I'll get into that a little bit later but for some reason, this string just doesn't grab the ball enough for me um, and the response doesn't feel right. This is my third set and I still haven't found a way to love it. But that doesn't mean that it's not without its pros. Obviously, a lot of people like it. It's very popular. And so first, let's talk about what makes the Technofiber Ice Code a good choice for a lot of people. So speaking from an objective point of view, the Technofiber Ice Code is definitely a good string and it'll suit a lot of people. The selling point of the Ice Code is that it's supposed to get good, good control but it's nice and comfortable and it's supposed to be a little bit more powerful than the typical poly. It's definitely the most powerful in the Technofiber lineup. The Black Code series and the Red Code series are all pretty stiff, pretty low powered. This Ice Code is a little bit more arm friendly so you don't have to worry about injuring your arm and it does have that extra punch. I liken the Ice Code to the Headhawk Touch. It's very similar to that. They're both on the softer side, both arm friendly. Um, decent power, not too much, but it also gets surprising amounts of control for something that is so soft. Usually something that's softer will be a little bit more springy. The Ice Code is a little bit springier than the Hawk Touch, but they both get good control for what they are. The Tective Fiber Ice Code also holds tension very well for a soft poly. Usually soft polys stretch faster because they're made from softer material so they lose tension faster. The Ice Code really holds tension much better than any soft poly I've tried. Probably one of the best in terms of tension maintenance among the softer polyesters. So if you're not a string breaker and you don't like spending a whole lot of money, 
definitely the ice code would be worth a try especially because it's not overly pricey i think you can get one between 10 and 12 dollars polyesters have come down a lot in price and the technofiber ice code definitely gives you bang for your buck in terms of longevity and the cost of entry it's also a soft poly which means that it's going to be very durable you're not going to break this very easily because it's smooth it's not going to have a whole lot of friction burn and it's not going to snap itself now getting into the cons i said earlier that i've tried this string three times already and i for some reason it just doesn't mesh with me and the biggest reason is that it just doesn't have enough spin because it's just a traditional round poly, even though it is very slippery and very smooth, it does not bite the ball enough. I can feel it every single time I hit the ball. I can feel the ball launching a little bit higher off my string bed, which led to me sailing some returns long. Definitely on the kick serve is where I felt the lack of spin the most. My kick serves would just become sitters that my opponents could attack. I couldn't get them off of their strike zone and I couldn't follow it into the net as confidently as I would like. It's also a little bit too springy. I don't really like springy response strings because it makes me feel a little bit tentative when I'm taking full swings. The ice code actually has a surprising amount of control, so I didn't feel it too much in terms of swinging out aggressively. It was more of the touch shots, the slices, the angle volleys, uh, short angle ground strokes especially. I felt that it was just a little bit too springy and I wasn't confident trying to go for the sidelines so much as the baseline. I prefer a string with a lot more crisp response. I've said this numerous times, something like Headlinks Tour, Solinko Tour Bite. This string does not fall quite into that category. Um, in terms of polys, I believe the Technofiber 4S is definitely my favorite because it's crisp and it's also uh, shaped so it bites the ball better. For me, the Ice Code just doesn't have enough spin and it doesn't have that crisp response which I like from my polys. So who is the Technofiber Ice Code for? It's for somebody who maybe is starting to experience some arm problems, but they can't give up using poly because of the in, uh, great durability and control that they get. This will be a softer option, not as soft as something like head links or polyfiber TCS, which are extremely elastic and drop tension extremely fast. The ice code will maintain tension well. It's a soft, low friction poly, so it won't snap. It's gonna be very durable. It's also a great value string at around $12, $13 you're gonna get a lot of mileage out of this string. So for budget conscious players, for people who uh, maybe want a little bit more power out of their poly, or people who may have arm problems, but don't wanna give up polyester, the Technofiber Ice Code is geared towards those types of players. Thank you for watching this review of the Technifiber Ice Code String right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an Open Court.